Hello everyone. Today we shall discuss exercise 6.5, question number 8. The diagonals of a rhombus measure 16 cm and 30 cm. Find its perimeter. Let us find. First of all, we have drawn a rhombus and AC and BD are the diagonals of the rhombus. But we know that there is a property of the use here that we know that we know that the diagonals of a rhombus the diagonals that the diagonals of a rhombus the diagonals of a rhombus The diagonals of a rhombus bisect bisect each other each other at 90 degree. That means these angles, all these angles are 90 degree, and the diagonals bisect each other, right? Therefore, this is suppose this diagonal is AC is 30 centimeter. Let here AC is 30 centimeter. That means from AO is 15 centimeter. This is 15 centimeter. And OC is also 15 centimeter. And total AC is 30 centimeter. And here in this case, that is BD. Total is 16 centimeter bisect each other. That means this is 8 centimeter and this is 8 centimeter. And here you see that all the angles here is 90 degree. That is this angle is 90 degree. Right? Now if you consider one of the triangle that is BOC, that is in triangle in triangle BOC. In triangle BOC, here you see this is 90 degree, that means this angle, that is this side BC, is the hypotenuse. In triangle BOC, triangle BOC, we know we can write that BC square, that BC square is equal to BC square is equal to OB square, OB square plus O C square plus O C square. Right? Now what is the value of O B? The value of O B is 8 centimeter. Therefore 8 square plus what is the value of O C? O C is 15. That is 15 square. 15 square. 8 square 8 into 8 that is 64 plus 15 into 15. If we multiply 15 with 15, we are getting 15 with 15, and we are getting 5 5 25 2, 2 here 5, 5 and 5 plus 2 7. This is 5 and 5, 1 and 1. That is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry 1, 1 plus 1, 2. 225. 225. If we add 225 is 64, 64 we are getting 5 plus 4 is 9, 5 plus 4 is 9, 6, 7, 8, 289. That is we are getting 289, 289. Therefore, BC is equal to, is equal to root over 289. 89. I will find the root of 289 in division method. It is 289. Take this 89. We will divide this by 1. That is 1 1 ja, 1 1 ja, 1 minus 2 minus is 1. 
189 and here it is 1 plus 1 that is 2 now here you will find that is if you multiply 27 with 7 we are getting 7 7 is 49 4 here it is 9 7 to 14 4 18 189 that is we write here 7 here 7 is 189 right that we get that square root of 289 is 17 if we are getting that this is equal to 17 centimeter and we know that in a rhombus all the sides are same therefore since BC BC is equal to 17 centimeter BC is equal to 17 centimeter 17 centimeter side AB is also 17 centimeter DC is also 17 centimeter and it is also 17 centimeter therefore perimeter of the rhombus therefore if I find perimeter of the rhombus is equal to perimeter perimeter of the rhombus perimeter of the rhombus perimeter of the rhombus is equal to 4 into one side that is 4 into 17 centimeter if we multiply 17 with 4 you are getting 17 with 4 that is 4 7 28 2 here 8 4 into 4 5 6 68 that is comes to 68 centimeter Right. Here you see, first of all, we have, find, we have to find the one side. Here you see, again we are uh, repeating. We know that the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at 90 degree. Therefore, it is 90 degree, this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. And bisect each other means this side is equal to this side. And this side, OC, is equal to OA. Right. Now, integral BOC, here is size BOC. That is BC square is equal to BC square is equal to OB square plus OC square according to Pythagoras theorem. That is hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. We are getting this BC as 17 centimeter. And perimeter means sum of all the sides. That is perimeter of the rhombus equal to 4 into 1 of the side. That is 4 into 17 centimeter. That is 68 centimeter. Therefore, perimeter of the rhombus is 68 centimeter. Dear friends, if you like this video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you everybody for watching this video.